Good afternoon, Central Ohio, and thanks for joining us here for another edition of our 10 Weather Impact Show here on 10 TV Plus. And we are talking about some pretty quiet conditions here right now as we saw some sunshine, but that's going to be changing here as we go through the next couple of days. And even this evening, we are tracking a few more flurries and snow showers. So as we dive into the forecast here, well, let's talk about the cold that we had here over the last 24 hours. Our wind chill factors, they were pretty low as well. So our actual air temperature dropped down through the 20s and our wind chill factors when we had winds about 10 to 20 miles per hour here yesterday evening into the overnight hours and today. Well, these are some of the lowest wind chill factors that were recorded across central and southern Ohio. We had a wind chill down to 11 in London, Kenton and Springfield. Columbus, the lowest wind chill recorded at the Columbus International Airport was 12 degrees. Chillicothe it felt like 13 earlier today in Chill Chillicothe, Marysville and Marion, all 13 degrees and some very low wind chills across the entire area. Everyone dipping down into the teens here over the last 24 hours. However, we are tracking some better conditions looking ahead to the forecast after today, after the cold that we have here for the rest of this afternoon into tonight. Now, here's a live look at our Skyview camera. We had some sunshine earlier today, but now we're starting to see the clouds rolling in and that's going to continue here this evening. And we could actually see a few flurries, a couple passing snow showers, but not a lot of activity here as we go through today. 34 right now, but you throw that wind in there about 16 miles per hour. Well, it feels like it's about 24 degrees, so still feeling the chill for now, but it's going to get better as we look ahead to the forecast starting tomorrow right on into the weekend. Temperatures across central Ohio, central and southern Ohio. We got uh, most of us in the 30s, a little bit better here further south where we had more sunshine through the day. So we got 37 New Lexington, 38 in Logan, almost 40 in Jackson. So progress, but it's still pretty cold for everyone here. And like I said, we're going to be uh, seeing some changes this evening as clouds build in and we see that chance for a few flurries. Look at the radar picture right now. Not a lot of activity, but we're starting to see some showing up there in western Ohio. So a few flurries, a few snow showers building in and that's going to continue to arrive here over the course of the next few hours. So that's about all we'll see. A few flurries not going to accumulate. It's not going to be a problem here this evening and that'll clear out and we'll actually get some clearer skies later on tonight. And that could be good for us because there's a chance we'll see the northern lights. And I'll talk more about that here in just a moment. But going through the hour by hour forecast, clouds building in. Here's that chance for a few flurries, a couple snow showers. Not going to be a problem. That clears out. And then by 10 p.m., starting to see those clear skies. And clear skies are in the forecast for most of us as we go through tonight. Now our forecast for the rest of today, a few flurries. We may get up to 38 degrees, uh, kind of getting stuck around the uh, 35, 36 degree. So a few of us have gotten into the upper 30s. Uh, kind of really depends on where you're at. So uh, temperatures are going to be cold for everyone. Southwest winds at 10 to 15 here for today, up to near 20 miles per hour. Tonight, clearing skies after about 10 p.m., 32 for a low. And so even though we're seeing clear skies, we're not going to get too cold. A few of us could dip into the upper 20s, but that wind out of the southwest is going to help to get uh, from do, being too cold here tonight. If we had clear skies and light winds, we would drop into the 20s, but the wind is going to help us and it's also going to help to bring in some warmer temperatures going through tonight. And really, as we go into tomorrow, as our temperatures warm up quickly, into the upper 40s to lower 50s. Right now, we are calling for mostly sunny skies. High temperature right around 51 here, but it will still be fairly breezy. Winds are west at 15 to 20 miles per hour, so there will be a wind chill factor through the morning, but as we go through the day, it will start to feel a bit better, of course, with the sunshine, even though we are going to have some breezy conditions here pretty much all day tomorrow. But we are going to continue to warm up and the wind will start to lighten up here looking ahead to Thursday and Friday. But meanwhile, at least for today, going to be watching those flurries passing through the area here later on today. As we look ahead to our seven day forecast for tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, 51 for a high temperature and notice the trend will continue to go up 53 by Thursday. More sunshine, more sunshine here on Friday, getting closer to 60 for an afternoon high here on your Friday. And then as we head into the weekend, it gets even warmer, but 
there's a trade off. We get the warmer temperatures, but we get more cloud cover here Saturday into Sunday and the chance for some rain. Now we are tracking a very slight chance for some showers here on Saturday. Mostly dry, probably don't have to worry about anything. 62 for a high and then notice Sunday morning. We're only down to 50, so we're looking good here for Sunday. A mild day, 64 for a high temperature, but some rain showers are in the forecast here as we look ahead to Sunday into Monday, and then our temperatures, they cool down, but we're not talking about cold enough temperatures for any snow anytime soon. So whatever we see this evening, that'll be the last of the snow showers for at least through the seven day forecast because we are talking about better chances for rain looking ahead to really going into Sunday and Monday here of next week. So watching that in the forecast, but we're also watching something else and check this out. This is a recent solar flare. You're going to see it here in a second. This big burst right there. This big burst of solar energy that came from the sun here just in the last uh, 24 hours. And this is what's going to lead to the potential for the northern lights to be seen here across a large part of the country here later on tonight. And what just happened in the last uh, couple of hours is the Space Weather Prediction Center issued a G4 storm watch for tonight into Wednesday. And the last time we saw conditions like that, well, we got to see the northern lights across Ohio and really many states across the country. So the central and northern US have the best chance to see them here after about 11 PM. Now what it's going to come down to is how strong the energy actually is, and we don't really get to see that until right before it arrives at Earth. So about an hour lead time is going to be the best bet here tonight. But right now, based on the predictions from the Space Weather Prediction Center, it looks to be after about 11 p.m., closer to midnight, maybe as late as 1, 2 o'clock in the morning would be when we would see the best viewing of the Northern Lights. So it's a timing thing, and it also comes down to whether or not you have clear skies. And right now, we are tracking a pretty good potential for clear skies after 11 p.m. Here we are at midnight, pretty good less than 20% cloud cover. So really mostly clear skies are in the forecast tonight. More cloud cover well to our north. So the further north you are, the chances are a little bit lower. But if you're around Columbus, Marysville, London, Circleville, Lancaster, Newark, looking pretty good. Now, I will say though, if you want to see them, there's a chance you could see them where you are. Now, if you want to get a better view and if you want to get a better photo of them, you're going to have to get away from light pollution. You're going to have to get away from the city, away from street lights, and even the car, your headlights. If you're out on a rural gravel road, you know, if you're in a parking lot, if you turn your car off, if you can do it safely, that's going to give you a better photograph. If you want to do a long exposure on your phone, or if you have a DSLR camera, you're going to be able to capture a good photo of the Northern Lights. But like I said, it all comes down to timing if and when that energy from the sun actually reaches the earth. It interacts with, with the magnetic field. It causes the northern lights. And whenever that happens, that's the timing for it. So there's a lot of uh, you know things to figure out here over the course of the next several hours. But we will be watching it here on 10 TV and on 10 TV Plus. We'll have more updates on that coming up later on this evening if and when the northern lights do look like they're going to be likely visible here across Ohio and many states here across the country going through tonight and potentially another chance of seeing them as we head into tomorrow night. So we are watching a lot of things with the northern lights. We're also watching a lot of things with our forecast here as we go through the next couple of days. But right now, all indications are that tonight and tomorrow night, if everything comes together, we have a pretty good chance of seeing them. So we'll have updates on that as we go through today. Now also uh, let's go ahead and check out some new video into us. Uh, this is actually from yesterday morning. You can see the snow falling there over downtown Columbus. A nice view, very, uh, you know, very scenic with all the snow that was coming down. We had about 1.8 inches of snowfall through yesterday and you can see the state house there as well. Good amount of snow coming down. Thankfully, a lot of that snow has melted and will all be melted by tomorrow and Thursday as our temperatures get up into the 50s. But hey, 
it was good for snow. It was a uh, nice and light and uh, most of the roads were in pretty good shape. We had some slippery spots here and there, but really temperatures were warm enough that most of the roads were just wet and a couple uh, slushy spots here yesterday, but better conditions here today. Now another video. This one actually from just a couple of days ago. This was a lava fountain there at the Kilauea volcano out in Hawaii and check this one out. Just really dramatic video here. Now I will say this isn't you know anything to worry about. This is uh, something that happens regularly at the Kilauea volcano at Volcanoes National Park there in Hawaii. Now when we see lava fountains like this a little bit more rare, sometimes they get just a few lava flows, but something like this does happen. We've seen them several times in just here in 2025. But hey, still pretty dramatic video watching that lava flow and this was going on for quite some time. The video that we're watching here is just about a minute long, but it actually was going on for more than a couple of hours. So makes for a dramatic scene. If you've ever been out to Hawaii, ever had the chance to see this in person, pretty cool sight. But hey, at least we get to see it on video. And like I said, this happened just a couple of days ago and potentially could happen again here as we go through the next uh, couple of weeks and we'll be watching that, but also watching our forecast here locally in Ohio as we're tracking that chance for rain going into Sunday and Monday. But also looking ahead to those warmer temperatures here starting tomorrow. Highs are in the 50s continuing into Friday and then we get the 60s back here looking ahead to Saturday and Sunday. And also, like I said, the northern lights, that's going to be the big focus here as we go through tonight. So we are watching that closely as well. So We'll have more updates on that coming up later on this evening. That'll do it for us here today on 10 TV Plus with your 10 Weather Impact Show. I'm meteorologist Aaron White, and coming up later on this evening, Chief Meteorologist Jerry Martz will be in with the latest on the warmer temperatures in our forecast and to talk about the Northern Lights. So until then, you can always catch more news and weather online at 10TV.com.